All right, you guys, we're starting off with the Guggenbaits frog right here. I believe this is called bluegill. Let's see if there's a fish over here. Got something little. Baby bass. Oh, he is angry. Look at him go. I knew it was going to shake off. There he goes. Yeah, I think the hook is not that sharp anymore. I mean, it feels pointy. Alright, you guys, it's 8 40 now. So we've been here about two hours. I mean, we've only had three bites. Nothing wanted to hit top water. I tried the punching rig a little bit, and uh, nothing wanted that. I don't know what these bass are doing. I threw the Ned rig. I had a couple of bites here. Didn't land them. Then I missed a fish over there, too, and I landed one. On that little Ned rig. Which one is this? Let me bring out that lure real quick. Or you know what? I'll bring it out at the end of the video. But right now, I'm going to switch spots and go to the other pond over there gonna fish the back half of it and see if we can get some more bites you guys stay tuned oh we had a quick strike at it they just striked it quickly Come on, fish. They better come back for it. There they go again. We got them. We got them. Finally, you guys. Finally. Please stay pinned. It has been so long without getting a fish. Hooked on the side of the mouth. Oh man. I should have let out more line than that. Oh, he came off the hook. Calm yourself. No. Man, that bass kept flapping. It's about a one pounder. Man, I should have had more slack line. I did not have plenty at all. I reeled it up all the way to the top. But he did want that worm. Ah, oh, it was so tough figuring out the bite today because they are not biting anything. So it seems like slow dragging this worm is what did it. I'm going to keep fishing this worm. You guys stay tuned.
there we go. There we go. Yes. <laughs> we definitely figured them out now. Oh, he's pulling it. This one looks better than the last one. There we go. It's a little bit fatter than the last one. Oh, he swallowed the tip of the hook. He really wanted that worm. Now we gotta get the hook out of him. We're gonna need the long pliers. Do not swallow that hook. No, he's bleeding right out the side. Oh no. That was his best chance right there. He was bleeding so much. We had to let him go. Hooked on the side of the mouth. Mm. Look, he's gonna go crazy. He's gonna go crazy. Hey. Oh, nah, he swallowed the hook too. Oh, but this one has barely any hook in them. There we go. Popped it right out. Another one. He's a little one. He is a little one. Oh man, we missed the line completely. Gotta get him, gotta get him. Don't let him shake on you. There we go. Hooked on the side of the mouth pop right out. Bass number There we go. Another one. Oh yeah, hooked on the side of the mouth. Just how we want it. We don't want them swallowing these hooks. Pretty dangerous. Oh, I just heard another blow up. See, I think they are getting more active now. That's what's happening. 
Oh, this hook is in him. You can see another hook mark on the side of his mouth from where someone else hooked them. It's like a little bit purple. Pop it up, pop it up, pop it up. There we go. Nice little bass. Thank you for playing. Wow, he was shaking a lot. He was ready to go. There we go. It's a little one. I just felt the pull. Don't tell me he swallowed it. Come on, little bass. Ah, he did. Let's go to the long pliers. Oh, we got it out. Let's put him back in. He's bleeding. Go, little bass. There he goes. All right, you guys. That's going to be all for today's video. Overall, it was a pretty good day of fishing. We were able to catch some bass. The first one was kind of early on. We caught the first one on the Ned Rig, fishing that yum crawl poppy. This here is the black and blue flake. Hopefully, that shows up on camera pretty good. What size is this? This is an 8 pack. 3.75 inch. I have a lot of confidence in this lure. This is one of my favorite Ned Rig lures right there. Just it has so much action and it's so soft. But it always manages to get bites. I mean the bass just really want that lure. And then what ended up working for us throughout the rest of the day was that Yum Finesse Worm. As you can see we fished it on a Texas rig. What size is that? That's a 6 inch. And this is a 12 pack. We went through a couple of these. Very soft. But I'm sure that that means it has a lot of action and I mean the bass really wanted it. it has a good scent on there. There's a lot of scent on it. But like I was saying with these zippers, they're like broken on both of these. So I have to put them in some Ziploc bags just so the scent doesn't go everywhere in the backpack. But that's what caught us most of the fish. We had five, I think, five or six. Anyways, I'm going to put those lures in the bottom in the description so you can see which lures they were and what colors and what I fished them on. I want to give a thanks to everybody who has hit the subscribe button so far. We are pretty close to 200. I think the last time I checked, we were at 190. And I check it frequently, you guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. I know we didn't catch any big ones, but pretty soon we will. It was a tough day at first. We went hours without bites. And then we managed to figure out they wanted the Texas rig. That's what we kept fishing. We fished it weighted at first, and then we went with it weightless. I just kept fishing that, but it started to rain, and it's actually going to get worse, so we got to get out of here, you guys. Thanks for watching, you guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe.